My HLS experience has been life-changing. Life-changing. Extraordinary. Enriching. Unforgettable. Exhausting. Inspiring. Inspiring. Inspirational. Challenging. Challenging. Resilience. Opportunity. Opportunity. This place is empowering. HLS has really encouraged me and enabled me to see that we can make change and it's important to do so. To make a positive, lasting impact on the world. We obviously have the, the foundation of, of the law, but we also have the foundation of how to think about the law. I definitely feel like I have so many new ideas and uh, so many new ways to frame them. It's really taught me how much justice isn't an end goal, it's really a process. I'm excited to take what I've spent the last few years here learning and working on and bringing it back to the communities I came here to serve. To serve the people uh, that desperately need our help and support. I want to bring the law to people and places that didn't have access to it before. It is a privilege for us to be lawyers. It is a privilege for us to be able to go into the courtroom and advocate on behalf of clients. I'm most excited to see all the good that my classmates and I do in the world. Where we go next will almost certainly be to change the world, and I'm just excited to see how. Our law school opened a door for me to embrace all the possibilities in life and uh, to do what I thought was impossible. I'm excited to do what I always dreamed about doing, to be an advocate for others, to have the tools um, and the power and the ability um, to change people's lives, which is why I went to law school in the first place. So I'm appreciative to Harvard Law School for allowing me to understand the law much more broadly, but uh, I always want to keep in mind what it's like to not understand it so that I can help people who, who need the help. Commencement is a highly cherished milestone for me. Culmination of a lot of hard work, um, not just on my part, but on my family's part. Taking a moment to share how grateful I am for all the incredible people who made the past three years so fantastic. My family members, my mentors, past teachers, being a wife and a young mom of two little girls. This has been a huge sacrifice on their part and I am excited. I am able to realize one of my life goals and be an example for them. Commencement means the conclusion of a period uh, marked by dedication and also resilience. The beginning of a new and exciting professional chapter. And it's definitely a beginning of many future opportunities to collaborate together and to share our experiences. My favorite memories are sitting with my professors in office hours and just getting to know them as people. I'll miss waking up every morning and knowing I could go to the Hark and find my best friends. When I entered the Harvard Law School library for the first time. Bar trivia night or randomly getting burgers at CamCom. The first snow uh, in Cambridge. My Ames team and I sitting in the exact same room for 36 hours in a row. It wasn't a pretty sight. The DC trip with the Women's Law Association. I think my favorite memory would be when I was in uh, HERC, the Immigration and Refugee Clinic, getting to tell the family, you know, like your son got asylum. Defenders has been one of the highlights of my law school experience. I'm so grateful to have gotten to be a part of that community. One thing I'll miss from my time here is, is, is the community. Community. The community. The ability to discuss my ideas with so many brilliant uh, mentors and peers. I think it's the inclusive and diversified culture. The rigor of classroom debate, the discussions, it's why I came to law school. As impressive as you know their, their intellect and their careers are going to be is the degree of empathy that they, they exhibit. They are humble and they're generous and they're kind. Whether it's studying for a final or asking for advice on something personal or professional, I feel like I found friends and mentors here who really have my back. I definitely would have not been able to get through this experience without them, and I definitely will miss having them in my life every single day. Everyone is so interested in like so many fascinating topics. Anything you can really imagine, there's somebody there who has done it um, and was most likely the best at it. To me, uh, in the current times, uh, what community actually means is the union and the resilience that we have shown. Going remote so suddenly was challenging because it felt like a sudden amputation of, your, of our community. The past few months have not been what we expected them to be. We supported each other during this unprecedented time. Seeing faculty members go out of their way to support students during this time. I appreciate the community and the people that I found at HLS. It's been incredible how much I've been able to stay in touch with that, um, even in quarantine. I think everyone's really 
done an amazing job of checking in on people, uplifting one another, supporting each other virtually. I'm just so thankful every day that we had the ability to use Zoom like we do, that we had professors that were willing to, to change up their lesson plans, that we had students that were willing to change up their styles of learning. And to see that they're doing okay, that they're able to still come to class and be um, as involved in discussion, it's like, okay, if they can get through this, I can get through this. It's just like a testament to like our connectivity and our resiliency that we've still found ways to come together. No challenge is insurmountable. No dream or goal is unattainable. We've been able to thrive. I'm confident we will get through this difficult time and come out stronger. Good afternoon. I like that. I, I gotta say, I've been, I've been wanting to do this all day because this is our grand finale. So class of 2020, let's go! <laughs> um, welcome to Harvard Law School's commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. We are so thrilled to have all of you with us today in Cambridge, live and in person. And this day, as you know, is two years in the making. We're so excited that it's finally here, and it's the grand finale of what's been a phenomenal commencement week for us. Now, for those of you who might be scratching your heads or still sleepy from today's 5.30 a.m. breakfast or recovering from last night's Barrister's Ball or maybe you had a big lunch and you're wondering, who's this cheerful, mildly charming, moderately handsome guy? Um, I'm Stephen Ball, and I'm Harvard Law School's new Dean of Students. So I started about three months ago, so I was not here for uh, the class of 2020's time at HLS, but I'm no less delighted to welcome the class back, along with your friends, family, and other supporters. Um, I had an opportunity to chat with a number of class of 2020 students yesterday and, and earlier today and really enjoyed it. And I really loved the remarks from some of your class marshals, as well as the great remarks we heard in the reflection video. Commencement is a special time. All at once, it allows us to reflect on where we've been, celebrate where we are now, and contemplate where we hope to go. This is especially true today, because even as we celebrate the class of 2020's achievements, many of us naturally find ourselves with heavy hearts following the events of the past few weeks. And we're wondering, how, we, how might we prevent similar outcomes in the future? It's a powerful reminder of the infinitely complex challenges facing our country and our world. Challenges which Harvard Law School graduates are uniquely suited to address. And as we prepare to celebrate the class of 2020 by calling the names of the graduates assembled here, we must also acknowledge the incredible resilience, ingenuity, and adaptability that this class has shown already. The class of 2020 completed law school just as a globe became ensnared by a 100-year pandemic that nearly brought it to a standstill. As a member myself of Harvard Law School's class of 2010, I'm reminded of my own time at HLS, which coincided, unfortunately, with the Great Recession. But even that didn't disrupt life as we knew it, quite like the COVID-19 pandemic. Amid profound uncertainty, grief, difficulty, and fear threatening even the most basic human interactions, the class of 2020 persevered. With the normal operations and rigors of law school shifted to novel formats and new approaches, the class of 2020 persevered. And even though the post-graduation world that awaited the class of 2020 may have been different than what any of them ever imagined, they all still persevered. Heck, it's even a little poetic that Dean Manning got COVID, although I hope he's okay, because he still persevered, right? So before we move on to presenting the class of 2020 and, and celebrating our um, various awards, I'd ask that our graduates and everyone else take a moment 
to give this class a long overdue round of, round of applause yet again. And in all seriousness, our heart goes out to Dean Manning, hope he's okay, all that. Don't wanna get fired. Um, <laughs> and finally, as we heard from some of our marshals earlier and others who've spoken, we know that none of our graduates who arrived at this moment made it here alone. There were family members, friends, teachers, mentors, and other supporters who encouraged them along the way. So I'd ask now that the family, friends, and other supporters of the class of 2020 give themselves one more round of applause. Class of 2020, we admire you, we appreciate you, we celebrate you, and we thank you for being here. And with that, let me turn things over to your terrific class marshals who will recognize the faculty, staff, and student award winners. Thank you. Good, good afternoon, class of 2020 and 2021. <laughs> Family and friends, congratulations. I'm so happy to be here today with all of you. It's truly a blessing to have this opportunity to celebrate our graduation in person amongst our family and friends, both who are present with us here today and those joining us virtually. My name is Hanan El Kathiri. I am a class marshal, class of 2020, and it is my es thank you. And it is my esteemed honor to once again recognize the 2020 recipient of the Suzanne L. Richardson Staff Award to Ms. Jordana Arias. This award is given each year by the graduating class to a member of the faculty for their commitment, attentiveness to student concerns, passion, and contribution to student life. Two years ago, we awarded this prize to Ms. Jordana, who was a program administrator at the Harvard Immigration and Refugee Clinical Program. During her time, she facilitated the smooth running of the program and worked towards fostering a sense of community between individuals from across the law school, university, and the greater Boston area. To date, she advocates for immigrant rights and social justice. Jordana has an illustrious career serving as a community organizer and volunteer for several pro-immigrant nonprofit organizations and faith-based groups where she worked closely with at-risk communities. Her passion lies in helping others and especially those coming from underprivileged and dis disenfranchised population. Two years ago, she was selected by the class of 2020 for her positive energy, her problem-solving skills, and for going above and beyond her duties for the students and the community at large. In her acceptance speech two years ago to the graduating class of 2020, Jordana reminded us to focus on the pillars of justice and equity in all our works and to use, to use and utilize our platform and networks to amplify the voices of those who have been silenced. And with this, I express my solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Yemen and Palestine, free Palestine, and my prayers to the people of Yemen. Thank you. Thank you and our prayers to the people of Yemen. Please join me once again in congratulating Ms. Jordana Arias. Thank you so much, thank you so much. I will now introduce my co-marshal, Mr. Andika, to take over, thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Andika Sudarman, part of class of 2020, and it's my honor 
to announce the student award winner. First is Andrew L. Kaufman Pro Bono Service Award. The Kaufman Pro Bono Service Award is granted each year in honor of Professor Andrew Kaufman, who has been instrumental in creating and supporting the Pro Bono Service Program at HLS JD students in a graduating class who demonstrate an exemplary commitment to pro bono work, receive the award and an honorium. The winner of this award is Jeremy Ravinsky. The second award is David A. Grossman Exemplary Clinical Student Award. The David Grossman Exemplary Clinical Student Award recognizes a graduating student or students who embody the pro bono spirit of the late clinical professor David Grossman. Professor Grossman exemplified putting theory into practice through clinical work. The student honorees have demonstrated excellence in representing individual clients and or undertaking group advocacy or policy reform projects. In 2020, the David Grossman was awarded to Sejal Singh. The third award is William J. Stunt's Memorial Award for Justice, Human Dignity, and Compassion. The Stunt's Memorial Award recognizes a graduating student who, de who has demonstrated an exemplary commitment to the principles of justice, human dignity, and compassion while at Harvard Law School. The 2020 winner is Jay Dangaran. We also have the David Westfall Memorial Award for Community Leadership. Named in honor of the late professor, David Westfall, who taught at Harvard Law School for more than 50 years and served as an inaugural faculty leader for a first year section, the award is presented annually to recognize student contributions to creating community within a first year section and the wider class. The David Westfall Memorial Award for Community Leadership was awarded to Sarah Elizabeth Hillier. The Frank S. Rickheimer Jr. Prize for Student Citizenship. Established in memory of Frank S. Rickheimer Jr., the prize is awarded annually to a graduate student or students in recognition of exceptional citizenship within the Harvard Law School community demonstrated through involvement in student organizations, community service groups, or through individual efforts. The Frank as Rickheimer Junior Prize for Student Citizen Leadership is awarded to Princess Daisy Martekie Abla Akita. In addition to the award winners we have highlighted, there are many other remarkable individuals in the class of 2020 some of whom were awarded a Dean's Award for Community Leadership, which recognizes a number of graduating students who contributed their time and energy to make Harvard Law School a better place through involvement in student organizations, community service groups, and other events. We encourage you to take a look at your programs where the winners of this award are recognized. We ask that all of 2020 award winners briefly stand for a round of applause. Thank you. And today, I also have the honor to present another award, which is the Faculty Award. The 2020 recipient of the Albert M. Sachs Paul A. Frun Award for Teaching Excellence, 
to Professor David B. Wilkins. This award, whose recipient is selected by the graduating class, is given to a single faculty member each year for their teaching ability, attentiveness to student concerns, and contributions to student life. Two years ago, we recognized Professor Wilkins as, in the words of his students, a devout mentor, strong supporter of student organizations, advocate for marginalized communities, and superior and inclusive educator who made a tremendous impact on our Harvard Law School experience. When we were students, Professor Wilkins, who served as the director of the Center on the Legal Profession, enthusiastically encouraged us to embrace innovation and new technologies while remaining firmly grounded by the rule of law and tethered to the values we hold dear, however disordered society may evolve. We heard earlier in the morning and just now that we have so many issues in the world that we live in today. And for class of 2020, we know that at that time, a few years ago, it was impossible to predict how immediate we would be confronted with the challenge and opportunity of applying his precise advice. We finished our law school classes, graduated from this esteemed institution, and started our first job as attorneys all on Zoom. Professor Wilkins, thank you for not only your steadfast belief in your students, but for devoting your career to helping us cultivate courage in confronting the unknown. You prepare us not only to gracefully adapt, but to lead change by using our legal knowledge and to innovate with integrity and to do so in a way that not only enhances, but demands equity. Years later, your, mentor your mentorship, your teaching and research remain as relevant as ever and continue to inspire and guide us. Professor Wilkins, on behalf of class of 2020, thank you for everything you have done for your students and for Harvard Law community. And to conclude, we came to Harvard Law School for a degree, and today we graduate with a new family. Our time together does not end today. Let us make sure our path cross again. Congratulations, class of 2020. From the bottom of our heart, the class marshals, thank you, and sampai jumpa. We will see each other again. Hello, I am Jean Tai, former assistant dean for the graduate program and international legal studies. Professor Mark Wu will join Dean Kamali for recognizing the 2020 graduates of the graduate program, beginning with our Doctor of Juridical Science degrees. Carolina Silva Patero. Carrie Ratnarsen. This concludes the degrees for the SJD graduates. Will the JD MBAs and sections one and two please report to Hauser? We will now begin recognizing the Master of Law graduates. Arvin Kurian Abraham. Nafisa Abubakar Adama.
Lucas Christoph Aby. Noor Albaya. Sarah Mohammed Al Salam. Sarah Fadil Alawi. Ragat Al Faridi. Vicente Allende Perez de Arce. Charlotte Andrews Frisco. Joao Victor Achegas. Isabella Ariza. Jean Bahun Aziz. Arthur Thomas Barbe. Ana Maria Baron Mendoza. Marcelo Barros. Marie Bodels. Alexander Ruben Bogash. Farah Bugaras. Laura Bornonesk. Beste Boskert. Noel Janina Francesca Eco Buan. Juliette Claire Bull. Emila Cadenas. Carla Maria Cardoza Vidal. Miguel Oscar Castilla Sandoval. Mathilde Charrier. Disha Chaudhary. Zhang Ting. Kenneth Yi Hong Chong. Long Lam Chu. Nai Antoine Constantine. Alessandra Maria Corona Enriquez. <laughs> Rafael Cruz Donoso. <laughs> Ricardo Cruz Andres. <laughs> El of the Rios da Fermos. Priyambada Das. Jose Angelo Arroyo David. Pedro 
Alde Elizalde. Mateus de Lima Costa Ribeiro. Ding Xiaoyu. Rabea Aguibaria. Hanan Hassan Al Katiri. Eduardo Espinosa de los Monteros Pereira. Raffaele Ferricetti. Nayara Ferreira Araujo Alves. Claudia Figueiredo. Cyprian Fluzan. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Shannon, France. <laughs> Clara Freyne von Tungen Reichenbach. <laughs> Maria Geigel. David Gomez Fajardo. Michael Zanzale Guala. Joshua Hape. Hiroshi Hasegawa. Kian Henry. Christian Hernandez Lara. Bowen Huang. Alana Marie Irwin. Onyine Anastasia Iizoba. Isha Jane. Ji Kai Lun. Ilana Kappa. Destina Kantik. Rosemary Caroro. Liana Gabriel Katz. Jun Kawanami. Ashlyn Kelly Lyth. Maisa Hatar. Apirat Christ Yuride. Yanitra Kumaraguru. Sung Hill Lee. Marussia Lavec. Ivan Luet. 
elected. Christian Frank Martin. Zanadine McQuarrie. Rachel Clara McKenzie. Bridget Rose McManus. Pietro Meneri. Sebastian Melab. Sara Maria Molina. <laughs> Stephanie Murphy. <laughs> Daniela Cristina Thaisa Muritna. Murinka. <laughs> Gustav Nash. Ryan Heath Nelson. Frasia Murungi Nundroge. Peter Nystrom. Ines O'Farrell. Daniel O'Farrell Cortez. Emenike Chinaza Omeya. <laughs> Natalia Maria Odronas Rivera. <laughs> Ariana Oriana Ubidia. Mightily Millen Pie Nida Salim Bryce Isulai Piskin Agnieszka Paulina Regetz. Nicholas Pralika. Matthias Ratzen. Imanol Ramirez Martinez. Guy Priver. Christoph Rush. Juan Rivera. Arthur Rodriguez Del Marco. Ana Maria Rodriguez Polania. (laughs) 
Harold Rothfuss. Rupali Francesca Samuel. Sarah Ray Schwartz. Bruno Shadaka. Josiah Senu. Mahmoud Samer Sarawel. Karin Maggie Saron. Karen Silva Mora. Daiva Sendara Viziote. Gerald Sinhao So. Madalika Srikumar. Jack Patrick Steele. <laughs> Sebastian Steuer. Ekaterini Strataridaki. Andika Putra Sudaman. Tan Chun Wen Scott. Rodrigo Talas de Souza. Thomas Ferdonk. Kritika Vora. Hayden Wardell Burris. Cha Lin Wu. Maria Elisa Zavala Achura. <laughs> Zheng Pei Wen. This concludes the degrees to the LM graduates. Will sections, will sections three and four please report to Hauser? Thank you, Professor Wu. Dean Stephen Ball, please join Dean Kamali for the Juris Doctor degrees. We will now begin recognizing graduates with Juris Doctorate degrees who also received a joint degree with the Harvard Business School. Joseph Rudy Kurtenbach. Tabitha Robinson. Alexander Stick. This concludes the joint degrees with the Harvard Business School.
Professor Joe Singer will join Dean Kamali and Dean Ball for rec recognizing section one. Spencer Bateman. Katie Brooke. Charlotte Suhar Butesh. Molly Coleman. Nanding Chen. Kevin Wading Chu. Leo Ding. Daniel Mark Eaglewise. Catherine Fitzpatrick. Aaron Fowler. Kelsey Frazier. Terrence George. Robert Hansen. Josephine Ida Herman. Nancy K. Horseman. Asim Ja. Selki Ki. Christopher Lucas Kraft. Yun J. Lee. Justin Lin. Alicia Lowe. Leah Marshwari. Maria Mangi. Tony Ray Meyer, Jr. Emily Maria Migliore. John Mitzal. Alexandria Lee O'Connor. Jacob Amorodian. <laughs> Catherine Pfeiffer. Sean Rail. Liliana Rembar. Shia Shapira. Hey, Junsu Siong. What? 
Is this your name? Yeah. Ji yeah. Young, Jenny Shem. Caroline Borgard Schinkel. Samantha Ashley Simmons. Caroline Lee. Zachary Singer. Shelby Smith. Sean Tannenbaum. Tron Min Tue. Thomas Weber. Nicole A. Williamson. <laughs> Camille Kiara Elise Youngblood. Yeah, Ciara. Ciara. What? Camille Sierra. Oh, Ciara. Camille Sierra Elise Youngblood. Joran Dron. This concludes the mighty section one. Will sections five and six please report to Hauser? Professor Jim Greiner will join Dean Kamali and Dean Ball for recognizing section two. Now it's time for section two. Jordan Peter Asher. O Omar Ashmawi. Jun Wan Chung. Virginia Klein. <laughs> Kenneth Crouch. <laughs> Rachel Davidson. <laughs> Alessandra De La Tejera. Williams Dobbs Alsop. Jenna Alfuki. Olivia Everton. Pantea Pani Fayed. <laughs> Nicole Fonts. <laughs> Mallory Frasinet. Natalie Gallon. And don't faint. 
Michaela Wynn Gilbert Lurie. <laughs> William Graham Greco. Charles Harned. Suzanne Ruth Hollister. Glory James. Pejusa <laughs> Naiduda Jayochandram. Marcella Johnson. Sally Kege. Al Kelly. <laughs> A Young Kim. Parker William Knight the third. Fu Shek Rocky Lee. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Nicholas Vincent Luongo. Corrine McGuire. David Margulis. Joseph Meeker. J.P. Moeller. Jeff Ong. Roddy P. Patel. <laughs> Nastasia Phillips. Jeremy Ravinsky. <laughs> Delphine Roderick. Donna Cheyenne Sudate, Sudate Soto. David Saxstein. <laughs> Rio Adelson Scharf. Vartan Shadarevian. Benjamin Spiegel. Richard Sun. Lucy Tang.
Harish Wemuri. Danielle Walling. Flora Yufin Wang. <laughs> Lila Waz Piper. <laughs> Chang Hao Wei. Cody Westfall. Taha Uheba. Vincent Yang. Linda Yao. Grace Zhu. This concludes section two. <laughs> Professor Randy Kennedy will join Dean Kamali and Dean Ball for recognizing section three. Diana Smith, Acqui. Brooke Adams. Princess Daisy Akita. Daniel Alford. Varuni Balasubra Manium. Sasha Benoff. Vincent Biagiati. <laughs> Porshad Brombot. It's good to see you. Amanda Chan. Yurei Chen. Bryn Choi. Douglas Colby. Elizabeth Dawson. Woo! 
Zachary Roberts Wonders Deering. Nikki Edmonds. Anastasia Fay. Blair Elizabeth Ganson. Eric Giray. Kevin Gu. Benjamin Harris. Danica Harvey. Ayana Williams Isom. Emma Janger. Amy Jaw Yoon Ju. Celeste Kamotek. Ki Young Lee. Lee Young Lee. I blew it. Joseph Longenecker. Ryan Mack. Nice to see you. Quinn Mayberry. Jacob Miller. <laughs> Jazel Patel. <laughs> Brian Payton. <laughs> Alexander Edward Serio. Nice to see you. Young Ho Song. Yeah. Akaterina Stobolog Lou. Douglas Stevens the fourth. Julia Wink. Gabriel Wilgen. Amy Zhang. This concludes section three. Will section seven, eight, and joint degree graduates please report to Hauser.
Well, hello, everybody. Give it up for section four. Sebastian Becker. Tara Bogosian. Chase Robert Browndorf. Elizabeth Carr. Kevin Yen Chen. Good to see you. Jean Choi. Jason Collin. Take your time to savor it. Anna Dmitrievich. Graham Robert Duff. Andrew Frere. Samantha Fry. Grant Glovin. Michael Guggenheim. Two of our youngest graduates coming up right now. Thank you. Zainab Hashmi. Chrysanthia Horn. Dara Jack, pardon me, Dara Jackson Garrett. Nathan Garrett Jester. Jennifer Kim. Stephanie Kwan. Vanessa Juliet Lauber. William Leung. Michael McCambridge. Grace McLaughlin. Carl Sungjun Min. Krista Celeste Elke. Kaylee Marie Petrucci. Madeline Salah. Madeline Salinas. Benjamin Sanchez. Andrew Scaris. Daniel Sylvia. Julia Welsh. Thank you very much. Brianna Della Williams. Thank you, sir. Andrew Wingens. Un Sung Yang. Kristen Ross Yakel. Thank you, sir. 
Yi Yuan. Congratulations. Darren Zhang. Congratulations. Yi Fei Yang. Thank you so much. Meng Lu. Gao Sang. That was section four. Big round of applause. Now, Professor Richard Lazarus will join Dean Kamali and Dean Ball for recognizing section five. It is a vast understatement to say that it warms my heart to finally get the opportunity here on Holmes Field to welcome back Section 5. <laughs> Samir Agarwal. Radiki Kabora. Amanda Glover Bradley. Andrew Zachary Buchanan. Sarah Coe. Brooke Cohen. Catherine Combs. John Cruz. Lolita Del Palma. Emiliano Delgado and, I'm guessing, son. Contao <laughs> Sui. Gavin Duffy Gideon. Shireen Amber Farahani. <laughs> Melanie Fonts. <laughs> David Alexander Friedman. <laughs> Omid Gomohammadi. Benjamin Gunning. Michael Key Hunher. Ji Min Lee. Sarah Lebowski. June Lim. William McClure. Neil O'Dowdery. Arabella. Okaro. Laura Older Rockmore. Heather Lynn 
Pickerel. <laughs> Nicole Stephanie Limson Pobre. <laughs> Elizabeth Pijo. Leah Faith Reed. Yeah. Noah Harrison Resnick. Monica Sharma. Charles Lewis Shear. Rachel Haley Simon. Taya Skella. Crispin Smith. Brian Sun. Martina Bamum Tiku. Majid Wahid. Oh. <laughs> Jeremy Wurtz. Malika Williams. Malika Williams. Kuba Wisniewski. Joseph Jung Huk Yim. Adele Jung. And this concludes Section 5. <laughs> Professor John Hansen will join Dean Kamali and Dean Ball for recognizing Section 6. Thank you, Professor Lazarus. I'm very pleased to announce the graduation of Section 6, the Gladiators. Ope Adebanjo. <laughs> Haley Blair Banks. <laughs> Lauren Beck. <laughs> Nolan Brickwood. Christina Maria Cornejo. <laughs> Dallin Earl. Solange Etisami. <laughs> Peter Farag. Aaron Danielle Formby. Zachary Daniel Fuchs. Tyler 
good cone. Aaron Jide. <laughs> Ji Yoon Kong. Alexandra Vale Conert Yant. Lorenzo Douglas Lang. Charlene Lerner. Eric Lim. Tara McCourtney. Richard Jagdishwar Millet. Good job, <laughs> Good job to you people. That was excellent. Benjamin Montgomery. Tonight, Muse. <laughs> Tough to follow. Tough to follow. <laughs> Oliver Pare. Maya Pendergrass. Lindsay Rose Pear. <laughs> Isabel Sophia Christopheru Pitaro. So good to see. John Riggs. Samantha Rodriguez. Mitchell Santos Toledo. Aditi Shah. Tanme Shukla. Adam Joseph Smith. Eric Solomon. Julia Ariel Solomon Strauss. Serana Soroka. Joseph Tabaz. <laughs> Chanel Van. <laughs> Shanghao Wang. <laughs> King Shia. <laughs> Yang Yu <laughs> Ju Yi Yuing <laughs> This concludes section six. Professor Todd Rakoff will join Dean Kamali and Dean Ball for recognizing Section 7.
All right, section seven. Aquia Abu. Adiyemi Adewuye. Sabrina Alvarez Correa. Fabiola Avales Aldana. Maxwell Baldy. Elise Michelle Baranuski. Jesse Samuel Windsor Burbank. Mei Lin Chen. Alexander Cottingham. Nicholas Cruz. Dangaran. Zachary Edelman. Rebecca Lee Ellison. Aaron Freeman. Lindsay Funk. Hey. Samuel James Furnival. Sarah Catherine Green. Hey, you're kidding me. No, she couldn't make it, but she's here. <laughs> Felipe de Jesus Hernandez. Yuan Shao Huang. Asma. Samir Jaber. Alicia Jawara. Hey. Stephen Kearns. Adam King. Adrian Lee. Spencer Livingston. Stella Mao. Al Marinati. William Alexander McGriff. Mama! 
Daniel Ayman Mubayev. David Neighbors. Hey. Jared Odeski. Hey. Shiva Pedram. Taiwan Ro. Coleman Saunders. Thank you. Shira Shamir. Hey. Sejal Singh. Bryden Slatterby. <laughs> Stephanie Ariel Sofer. <laughs> Joseph Sean Tobin. Catherine Ariel Torre. Kennedy Williams Liebert. Zhu Yang. Eric Yang. Hi. Coco Jian Zhang. Amy Zhao. That concludes Section 7. Professor Mark Wu will join Dean Kamali and Dean Ball for recognizing Section 8. All right, we saved the best for last. I have the honor and pleasure of introducing the recent graduates of Section 8. Margaret Babad. <laughs> Olivia Barquette Yefet. <laughs> Maria Dumbrunas. <laughs> Grania Dunn. Elisa Reese Green. <laughs> Hannah Kanegeider. <laughs> Mindy Kurtmer. <laughs> Whitney Leitz. Ashley Myola Tessie. <laughs> Emily Morrow. <laughs> James Mulhern. <laughs> Fadi Assam Saleh.
Samantha Ray Santopolo. David Shea. Bibika Shrestha. Maria Simonova. Graham Sternberg. Ling Yue Shui. This concludes Section 8. We will now recognize our graduates who also received degrees at other graduate schools. Dean Stephen Ball will join Dean Kamali to recognize our joint degree students. All right. In the home stretch. All right. And now our graduates who received a joint degree from the Harvard Kennedy School of Government. Rosa Louise Baum. <laughs> Kayla Calderwood. Elizabeth Coffin Carlin. James Benjamin Pollock. Hunter Parker White III. Hansel Yoon. So as we conclude today's ceremony for a final time on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Harvard Law School, I'd like to say congratulations to the class of 2020 and also 2021. But again, to the family, friends, and other supporters who shepherded them to this moment. We thank you all, and we wish you all the best. <laughs>